Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings. Hello to everyone in London. It's an absolute pleasure for me to be able to give you a short message. I'm terribly sorry that uh, I cannot be there personally, although I would have loved to. First of all, let me congratulate Development Initiatives for this excellent and very timely piece of work, and also to the Muslim Charities Forum for hosting this very important event. I am the Chief of the World Humanitarian Summit Secretariat, and the World Humanitarian Summit is an initiative of the Secretary General that will actually call upon all the different stakeholders to come together to think and to discuss and to find ways that we can address the growing humanitarian challenges in the world today. Never before have we faced such challenges in our time. Disasters are striking more frequently and more intensely affecting millions of people around the world. By the end of 2013, more than 51 million people have been displaced due to conflict. Now this is more than any time since World War II. Humanitarian crises halt or even reverse development progress. It means that many millions of people who are the most vulnerable in the world are really in grave danger of being left behind. And these are not short-term problems. The average the displacement of uh, people, particularly following major crises and conflict, is 17 years. In terms of financial needs, for 2015 alone, in the last three months, the UN's appeal requests support for 57.5 million people at a cost of $16.4 billion. This is a 446% increase since 2003. On average, 35% of United Nations appeals remain unfunded. It is on this background that we need to rethink how we will be able to finance humanitarian crises and meet the needs of people affected by them. This paper, An Act of Faith, and the role of humanitarian financing and zakat is extremely important for us to start examining whether there are alternative streams of funding that are already in existence that can be brought into the humanitarian arena. We all know that whatever faith one belongs to, the, the act of giving and the act of alms giving is something that is inherent in each culture. In Zakat, this paper has shown how the potential of this compulsory giving in the Muslim population can actually be harnessed to meet some of the demands that are facing refugees and people displaced by crisis. I believe this is a beginning of more intense work that needs to be done and indeed at the World Humanitarian Summit Secretariat this is one of the areas that we are studying in more detail and engaging with a multitude of stakeholders including banks, uh, organizations of Islamic jurisprudence, regional organizations and UN, UN organizations as well as NGOs to look at how can we find ways to channel appropriate amounts of funds to meet some of these demands. I think it's really important that we try to find the solutions that can meet local needs so that each community and each constituency that is providing zakat can actually meet some of the demands which are actually quite local. So I congratulate development in initiatives. I think this is a fantastic opportunity for us to continue doing more work on this so that we will find a way to really reshape aid. We will find a way to bring different actors to play their roles. And we find a way to legitimize some of the funding that goes through uh, Islamic social giving and capture the immense contributions from these channels. Congratulations and thank you once again for giving me this opportunity to say a few words. I wish you a very, very good and productive day.